Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro gaming video. So with each new season there comes a new cap to the power level and everybody is always trying to get as much power level as quickly as they can and everybody always wants to know what the most efficient ways to farm the power levels are. And normally it would be like go do all the things on your director that say powerful gear, go do comp, and then once you've done all that then go grind the things that say powerful gear. Well. This season, there's there's a there's another new way to do it, and you don't even need to play the game. <laughs> so, about a year ago, about this time last year, I think it was, I made a video about AFK farming in the forges. And uh, at the time, you would want to do this because you could get planetary materials from those forges, and you could use those planetary materials to go rank up the destination vendors, and dismantle the gear and get a bunch of legendary shards. Now Bungie patched that, but uh, this season, for whatever reason, they didn't realize that Umbral Engrams are dropping from the forges, as well as Altered Elements. Uh, both of these will drop from a forge, and you don't need to beat the forge in order to do it. So, it's, it's another AFK forge farming video, guys. Here we go. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and lower your power level as much as you can. So I will go ahead and show you what a lowered power level looks like just so that there is no confusion. So you can see here I'm down to 664. The recommended power for the forges is 750. New light players start at 750. So by lowering it this much, you're only going to match with people in the forges that are doing the same thing that you're doing every single time you're going to get afk farmers this cloak right here the the reason that i'm able to get this at 21 is because it's actually i don't know if you would say it's bugged but that's not where cloaks are but in your collections here you can just straight up pull a class item um, out of your collections at 21 power and that's how i'm able to get that low as far as the rest of the gear if you are in need of 750 gear to get even lower you can get every single slot, every single weapon, every single armor piece right here from the Cryptarch. So buy a bunch of these and get the gear that you need. Once you are down into 750 on everything, it's time to go AFK forging. And this is how you do it. You just go over here, go to the EDZ and go down here, select whatever the daily forge is and click launch. That's it. You're done. You get powerful gear now, congratulations. You're gonna hit the power cap and you can go do whatever you want. Now, <laughs> a few things that I'm gonna say about this uh, before I end this video is if you're on PC, what you can actually do is go into your video settings here, lower your field of view, make this down here to 720p, change this to windowed and then you can just minimize the game in the background. Another thing that you can do is right here in these settings, make it to low and down here, turn your render resolution all the way down to 25%. The only reason that you're doing this is because it is going to cut back on the strain that you were doing on your PC. Now, like I said, when you get your power level this low, you're only going to match with other people that are AFK. Why aren't they moving, guys? I don't know. It's because they're AFK and they are the same power level that I am. Look at that. This guy is even down to 507. GG's, Pinhead Larry. I, I appreciate you. But, yeah, if you're on PC, lower your graphic settings so it is not so much of a strain on your, um, on your graphics card. If you're on console, make sure that you're plugging in your controller and every now and then you're just checking to make sure that you don't get booted. But yeah, when I said that you literally just load into a forge and you don't have to do anything, I'm in it. These guys are going to kill you. You're going to have a little timer on the left-hand side of your screen that's going to count down from 60 seconds to zero. When it hits zero, you have a pretty good chance of getting an Umbral Ingram or the Altered Elements things. So to give you an idea of how effective this is, I have been AFK for about three hours today and I've gotten 14 of these. It is insane how often they drop, man. Oh, and also I started with 50 of these. So 750 altered elements and 14 of these Umbral Engrams in about three hours. Now, obviously it's RNG dependent. My experience might not be the same that you get it, but any way you look at it, even if you don't get 14 every three hours, you're gonna get some and it's still gonna be just free powerful gear. So why not do it? 
But yeah, there you go, guys. That's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoy it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. I'm going to wait a few seconds. Didn't get one that time. Unfortunate. Take care, guys.